In this fourth video of our series on using formula in Aster Power Project, we'll look at a number of useful ways to use formula to display cost data in our programs. And one of the most simple reasons for using a formula to show cost might be to protect the information that is in the column, so to prevent somebody editing it. And I've already created a formula for cost in this project. I've called it fixed cost because by using the formula and I'll just show you how straightforward the formula was it was straightforward field and select the cost field by displaying the cost through a formula however you notice that that information is non-editable so useful to show that if you want to prevent um, somebody accidentally changing the costs in a project Another useful example of using a formula with cost might be to calculate the tax associated with a particular um, cost. So the VAT, the value added tax, or the GST associated with a particular item. And we'll create a new formula to show this. We'll go to the Library Explorer, come to the Formula folder. I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom of the list here right click my mouse to create a new formula and I'll call the formula VAT value added tax okay so in the UK at the moment that is at 20% and so to calculate 20% of the cost of a task in our formula we select the cost field first off I'm not selecting anything from this dialog box. I'm just clicking OK. So I've got cost. And to calculate the cost of 20%, I'm going to do a straightforward divide by 6. Now, when I return to my project, I'll be able to add that column into my table. At the bottom of our list of fields we find formula and you'll find the formula that I've just created giving a useful calculation of the VAT at 20% of the total cost of the task. So that one was pretty straightforward. Um, another example we may need to reference a specific cost in our project rather than the overall cost of a task so there's going to be instances where there are more than one cost allocation on a task so we can see in this case we have both labor and materials so let's stay on the example of of VAT and we just want to see the VAT of the materials um, rather than the VAT overall of the task I'm going to enter the formula screen via the table definition this time rather than going back to the library so I'm going to right click on my VAT column go into the table definition and choose to edit this formula so I'm going to rename it VAT on materials and this time rather than just straightforward cost when I add the cost field, at the next dialog box, select the object and parameters for the field. I am going to edit my parameters because the cost centers are shown here. Originally, it was pointing to all cost centers. I'm now going to edit that and it shows me my, my library of costs for this project. And I'm pointing it specifically to the materials cost. Click OK. We can see now that the formula looks quite different. We have we, um, an ID reference here for the materials costs in our project. And I'm going to save this as a new formula by ticking the box down in the bottom left. So my original formula will be saved and I'm now saving this as an additional formula in the project. OK, so I'll add the column in to the table to show the results. Bat on materials. 
and there we can show that it's calculated that at 20% of the materials cost rather than 20% of the overall cost of the task. So, useful to be able to use formula to reference all costs associated with the task or a specific cost associated with the task. For a final example, it could be useful to show the cost of a particular task as a percentage of the phase it is in, um, as a percentage of its summary task. So we'll create a new formula for this example. Again, go into the library, scroll into the bottom, right click, select a new formula. And I'm going to call this formula task percentage of summary cost. So cost of a task as a percentage of the phase it is in. We'll start off with a cost field. So we want to show the cost of the task. We want to divide this by the cost of the summary that it is in. And we could just as easily choose to show the cost as um, the cost of the task as uh, the chart it's in, the project that it's in, or of the overall program. So we can reference um, all of these items in our formula. So I'm using summary for this example. So we've got the cost of a task divided by the cost of the summary. And that will return a fraction, so we want to show it as a percentage. So what I need to do is use brackets to separate that part of the formula. And I'm going to multiply the result of that by 100. That will give me a figure, that will give me a result. We can see that the, the, the status here is okay, but I would like to my result to show as a percentage with a percentage sign. So if we want to add something um, to our formula, we can use the ampersand sign and then in double commas, in inverted commas, add the symbol that we want to include. So my formula will now show the cost of the task divided by the cost of the summary um, times by 100. So it will show as a percentage. And if I now add that column to my table, so we can see the percentage cost of each task as a percentage of the summary that it's in. So useful for seeing the, the value of each task relative to the phase that it's in.